Good evening. Welcome to our Bold Virtual Gala. My name is Jackie. This is Alan and Daniel, and we are directors for Teen Challenge. We're so excited that this night is finally here. Aren't you excited? I am so excited. It's going to be a great night. I just want to say thank you to all of our sponsors who made this possible. We could not do what we do at Teen Challenge, and we could not have done this event without you. So thank you so much. We have an exciting night ahead. Our Teen Challenge students are going to sing in the choir. One of my favorite things. What about you, Alan? One of my favorites. Daniel? Yes, choirs and testimonies. And, yes, choirs and testimonies. So you're going to hear from our students in the program. You're going to hear them sing boldly for Jesus. And we have a guest speaker. This speaker is a very, very special friend of Teen Challenge. Gary Wilkerson is going to share with you about his heart for Teen Challenge and how important it is, not only to us, but to him. Right, guys? That's right. So I just want to let you know if you're struggling or you have a family member that's struggling, before we go any further, we want to give you a number to call. That number is 1-888-339-3193. If you or your loved ones are struggling, please don't hesitate to call. We have people on the phones waiting to hear from you. Yes, and those of you that are watching on Facebook, all of our Facebook friends, I want to encourage you to, to jump on over to our event page, and that is found at hope.teenchallenge.net slash tcbold. There you can access all of the different features that we have on the event page. We want you to be able to access everything in one place. We want you to RSVP to let us know that you're attending the virtual event tonight. But we want you to donate on, on that webpage as well. And also share on social media. On that event page, you'll find the silent auction. Um, and you can check out all of our amazing sponsors as well. Yeah, and there's a couple ways you can give, actually. You can click on Donate button on our event page. Uh, you can also text TC Bolt to 41444. You can also call at 888-339-3193. You can also send the checks by mail to Teen Challenge, Northwest Cal, Nevada, PO Box 24309, San Jose, California, 95154. Thank you, Daniel. We are so excited to be able to gather virtually across the United States and the world. So we're all gathered here tonight to hear the stories of the Teen Challenge students, and they testify to the boldness that they now have. So we have a few watch parties going on, our Adolescent Boys Center and our Adolescent Girls Center, along with the adult centers, gathered um, virtually to watch this event tonight. So thank you and welcome. If you would like to check out more about our centers, you can go to www.teenchallenge.net forward slash our centers. And if you have a specific question or you would like to chat with somebody, you can email info at teenchallenge.net. Awesome. And here at Teen Challenge, we always say that there are three ways that you can give and be a blessing to Teen Challenge. We talked a little bit earlier about the ways financially that you can give, but also we, we need your prayers. This is a big way that you can give to Teen Challenge is through your prayers. Pray for the students that are currently in recovery. Pray for the graduates. Pray for the staff, the interns, the directors. Pray for Teen Challenge as a whole. As we know, our world uh, is getting a little bit challenging to do ministry. And so prayer is one of the most powerful things that you can do for this program. And also through volunteerism. If you head on over to the website, teenchallenge.net, you can, you can find all of the different centers across Northern California and Nevada. Uh, find one in your area and stop by and see if you can maybe give of a skill, whether it could be auto mechanics, maybe you want to lead a Bible study. We have a wide variety of opportunities for you to volunteer of your time. So thank you so much. You know, Alan, one of my favorite things is the volunteers. When uh, Volunteers will show up to our centers and they do the things that we might not as directors know how to do. They come, they, they help with our garden, they do our yard, they help fix things. Our volunteers are a vital part of our program. Yes, they are. I, personally and firsthand, I know that uh, we, have, we have a whole fleet of vehicles that from <laughs> more times than I want break down on the road or... Uh, maybe we have cars just sitting at the center that aren't running. They give of their time to come by and fix some of those cars to help us to be able to take our students to uh, really important events like church services and different things. So 
So thank you to our, our current volunteers, and we're expecting to have more. So thank you. Yes, you are really bold for helping us. Thank you so much. So this year, we have actually a really bold goal. Uh, it's $300,000 that we would like to raise for, for Teen Challenge this year. So we already had um, uh, our in-person events already, and a lot of you uh, were already gi given already towards, towards Teen Challenge. So we want to thank you, all the sponsors, all the donors who already give. Um, and we want to give you still an opportunity to those who haven't or you would like to give again, you can give again. <laughs> You can uh, go on to our event page. There is online auction. You can win a lot of cool things uh, for yourself, for your family. Uh, you can also go on the event page. There is don do donate button and you can donate through that. You can text to give, as you heard before, uh, text TC Bold to 41444. TC Bold to 41. 444. You can call at 888-339-3193 and you can give through that and you can mail your checks to Teen Challenge Northwest Cal, Nevada, PO Box 24309, San Jose, California 95154. Uh, and so every gift, every gift counts. So thank you so much for your support. Just remember you can give, you can pray and you can volunteer. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, you're going to see a bunch of our sponsors scrolling down below. And I just want to ask you, Jackie, at your center, what do the sponsors do for you? So at our center, the sponsors make it possible to be able to pull people in off of the streets. The women who are living in the park with their children, um, it helps us to repair our vehicles that transport the children back and forth to school, um, to church services to go out and do outreaches in the community. So the sponsors don't only just directly affect the set of students that we have at the time of their donation, but it continues to affect years down the road. I was a student in the program. So when the donors were donating when I was in the program and people were sponsoring, they, and here we are eight years later and it's still affecting lives for change. So they're very, very a vital part of our ministry. Yes, and even so, if, if we just focus on what, what it costs for a student to go through the Teen Challenge program, we're looking at a, approximately $2,400 a month for one Teen Challenge student to go through the program. That's a pretty hefty bill, especially somebody coming out of uh, addiction and homelessness and gang violence. And so with the sponsors, the sponsors are very vital to the success of the Teen Challenge program and the success of the Teen Challenge student. So if you look at all those sponsors at the bottom of your screen, and if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, please reach out and sponsor our program. Daniel, what, what does a sponsor look like for you? What do they do for your center? Yeah, so we're able to do what we do because of the sponsors that are supporting us. And we have we we just recently have a big project that we were raising the funds last time for our remodels of our bathrooms and and we were able we were able to do that because of people coming alongside and being able to sponsor us and and help us out so because of their support we're able to do what we're doing amen do you have anything else jackie um i just want to say thank you thank you again to our sponsors it's because of you that we are able to do what we do at the center and just impact men, women, children, teens, and families. We depend on you, and we want to say thank you for partnering with Teen Challenge. And I would like to also invite the sponsors, those who support us, uh, to come over to our centers. See where where you're investing your money, and you can see all the lives that are being changed. You can hear the testimonies of our students. And so it all goes locally into, into the center. So I would like to extend the invitation to join the center. Check it out. Get a tour. I've been over here looking at these silent auction items. There's lots to choose from. I was thinking about taking a vacation, maybe a staycation, maybe we could all go out to dinner. It's a great way to support Teen Challenge. There's so much going on. We have vacations, staycations, um, activities for the whole family. 
uh, gift certificates for restaurants. It's a great way to support Teen Challenge. What do you guys think about the silent auction? Oh, I love silent action. I'm, I'm about to bid on something. I want to take my wife out on a good uh, good dinner and, and and a getaway. So I'm about to bid on it. Is that okay? Yeah, I love to bowl. So you can, you can go on the getaway with your wife. I'll take the family package. Uh, in order to bid, you're going to go to hope.teenchallenge.com dot net forward slash tc bold click the bid button go now so we have a graduate with us that christina come join us here um christina tell me about um your life after graduation what are you up to now so since i've graduated i actually work for teen challenge so i get the amazing opportunity to give back to the ministry that has saved my life and changed it completely I have my son living with me, and I'm ready for the next step in my life. That's awesome. What does it feel like to be part of the event like this? Watching students be as blessed as I was going through the program, I think, is probably the best part of being part of an event like this. You get to see the transformation before your eyes that happens when you watch somebody walk through the door and you see them folded in on themselves and sad and then you see them walk through the transformation that only God can do and you see them walk with their heads held high. What are you, what are you looking forward to in life? I actually want to continue on. My goal is to one day be the director of my own center. So I'm going to continue on with what God has called me to do. Yeah. Thank you, Christina. Keep up the good work. Thank you thank so you. much. All right, at this time, I'd like to call up a friend of mine. His name is Leroy. Come on up, Leroy. So I was just told that you were a completion of the program. Yes, I uh, finished the program this year. Amen. So what, what are some of your daily tasks? What are some of your duties? And what are your dreams uh, through your internship? Um, so I work at the office right now. Um, so I do a little bit of everything, um, just kind of making sure that all the administration side of things are working, just help all the centers keep running. Um, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes things that actually take place to keep all our centers up and running. What do you enjoy the most about your job? Um, I just enjoy knowing that I'm helping people overcome the same issues that I once was struggling with. Amen. And, and I, I don't know if you've thought this far down in your life, but what, what, what do you, where do you see yourself being in five years? Um, I'm not really sure. I know right now I'm just where God wants me to be, and I'm just going to continue to do and go where He leads me. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Leroy, for your time. Thank you, Alan. My why for Teen Challenge is just having the opportunity to be able to see people come to Christ. And just being able to be a part of that is just so rewarding. My why for Teen Challenge is to help people find their purpose and God's plan for their life. Teen Challenge helped me discover his purpose and his plan for my life, and it's led me on the path that I'm on today. My why for Teen Challenge would be that it never gets old to watch restoration. So every parent wants their child home, whether it's the parent of our students in the program or a parent in the program, the restoration that God does in their lives is just amazing, and I always want to be a part of that. My why for Teen Challenge is that I believe in this ministry. Being a graduate of the program, I experience what God can do through the ministry of Teen Challenge and how drastically He changed my life. Being bold to me is stepping out where you're not sure, where it doesn't feel comfortable, where it takes that extra bit of faith and just relying on God taking you through those next steps. When I think of bold, I think of uh, a small portion in Psalms 23 when it talks about walking through the valley of the shadow of death. It's not that we have an absence of fear, but in spite of fear, we walk in boldness because Jesus is with us. What I think of when I hear the word bold is having integrity to do the right thing and to stand out um, for Jesus, to uh, stand up for righteousness, and to um, just be bold in my faith. At this time, we're getting ready to get started with our event. Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hear the choir sing. I'm excited for the testimonies, uh, for our guest speaker. Excited to hear Gary. I'm so glad that we got to go first with the pre-show and we don't have to follow. 
the choir because that is really is the main event. Yes, that's right. That's right. All right, everybody. We now present you the Teen Challenge Bold Virtual Gala. Hello and welcome to this year's Bold Virtual Gala. My name is Kayla. And I'm Natalie, and we are so excited to be here this year. I can't believe we're here again. Yeah, we are thrilled to be with all of you. It is going to be such an amazing night, packed full of so many amazing things, so many different testimonies and stories. Yes, we have so many amazing testimonies to give you from real students through the Teen Challenge Ministry. And we also have some amazing choir that will be performing for us live tonight. I love the choir. It's one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. We also have an amazing testimony that is a mother and son and the story of their their reconciliation together. And it's, it's so powerful. So you are going to want to stay around for that. And we also are so excited to have Gary Wilkerson as our special guest tonight. So you are not going to want to miss a single second of this. So let's go ahead and get this night started. Good evening, everybody. We are Jared and Kelly. Thank you so much for joining this evening for our Bold Gala. We want to introduce to you the different locations for our centers, starting with San Jose, Oakland, Lincoln, Yuba City, Reading, Reno, Las Vegas, and Central Nevada. We just want to thank you so much for joining us. And now we want to introduce Dr. Randy and Dana Rowe. Well, thank you so much, Jared and Kelly. We're excited to be with you tonight for the Bold Gala. This is a great night, and we're so glad that you are a part of us. We want to welcome you as we join together and talk about what Teen Challenge is all about. We want you to be bold with us as we present the ministry of Teen Challenge. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Enjoy the program that we have coming up. I'm 22 years old. Hi, my name is Addison and I am 16 years old. My name is Jordan. I'm 22 years old. My name is Angelique. I am 37 years old. My name is Israel. I'm 38 years old. My name is Teresa. I am 38 years old. My name is Jack and I'm 17. Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm 27. My name is Chris. I'm 33 years old. I was 14 years old when I first started smoking marijuana and drinking alcohol. I didn't have anyone to help me. I was focused on making money, and I started doing drugs. I started using drugs at a very young age. By 12, 6th grade, I was drinking and smoking daily. I was lost in my addiction. I went through a divorce, and I started drinking, which led to uh, the use of cocaine and eventually to fentanyl. I had some issues when I was younger, ever since I've been um, reeling from it and unable to recover. So I started using meth and heroin and my life spiraled. It spiraled very quickly. I was introduced to pain medication and at that point it just kind of opened a whole new world of addiction for me. I lost my son. I got arrested and lost my football scholarship. I didn't think there was a, any way out. I felt Hopeless. Lost. Lost. I lost everything. I lost my, my house I was renting. Worthless. Desperate. Hopeless. Confused about where my life was. I was in a dark, deep pit. I lost my will to live. Just started using more and more. I was scared. I was doing PCP, methamphetamines, um, acid, ecstasy. I was homeless. 
living on the street. I just didn't even want to live any longer. Some of my main fears were that I'd never be able to come home. Well, I started doing things very out of character, and I went to federal prison on an importing charge. I got to the point where uh, I ended up in state prison. Um, this was over a 10-year period of addiction, uh, trying different programs, 30-day programs, 90-day programs. I was terrified of what I was becoming. I felt like all I could do was continue my addiction. I didn't think there was a, any way out. I was in a dark place.
How incredible has the TC Choir been so far? They have blown the roof off of this place. Right. They're just so anointed, and it's just, it, it gets me every single time. And so, uh, what an, I just love them. I love the choir. And besides that, we have an incredible testimony coming up. We have two students, Randy and Connor, who are also mother and son, and they are going to be sharing their story about how Teen Challenge has changed their lives and how the ministry has worked through it. Take a look. I always felt different. I never felt like I could fit in. I had a huge problem with depression. I started cutting myself because I didn't know how to express myself. So do you want me to share my, my testimony and then talk about how I lost him? Start with some childhood stuff. Okay. Yeah, so I was diagnosed with um, OCD in about fourth grade. Um, after they prescribed me some medications, I had a really hard time functioning. With the side effects of those medications, I continued to struggle with depression through high school. I lost a lot of friends during that time, and I think I turned to boys for attention. I had a couple talks with my parents about wanting to take my own life. The meds weren't helping me ever at all. So I just gave up kind of inside. I just gave up trying to um, make school work and make life happy. I just hated it. I hated my life. I hated who I was and I hated who I saw in the mirror. One day my mom came to pick me up from GED class and we pulled up to my house and my, my boyfriend at that time had been using the restroom. And in the restroom he was using, uh, going to the restroom and he, he saw a shiny object in the wall and it was actually a, a hole in the wall that had a video camera and my dad had been running a, um, a pornography kind of operation out of our home at the time so what I came home to was videotapes and garbage bags and uh, this uh, secret life that he had been kind of living I just kind of went into shock that day and I never came back so I started using uh, black tar heroin and I, I couldn't stop. I just fell in love with feeling numb. During my heroin addiction, I had a son named Connor and um, just by the grace of God, God had kind of removed him from my care when I was pretty honest with my parents and his dad that I, I just didn't feel fit to take care of him. I couldn't take care of myself. So he was taken away from me when he was about two years old. And because I wasn't ready to get honest, I just kept using and it pushed me uh, further into depression and um, kind of a self-destructive lifestyle. I ended up overdosing. A few days later, I woke up to an application for a teen challenge. I had given up trying to get my son back at that time. I had just completely lost hope for a different life. I thought I would for sure die as a drug addict and I kind of accepted that fate and I didn't have anything to lose. So filling out the application was easy for me because I wasn't bargaining with God. I just felt like there's nothing but gain here. I, there's nothing else to lose for me. My heart is broke and I hate my life. Since coming to Teen Challenge, um, I've, I've gotten totally free from addiction. I haven't cut myself since I came to, to the program. Uh, I don't crave drugs or alcohol at all and I have self-worth, and um, I've actually got my son back. He was placed with me a couple years ago. He's graduated the program, and we have a great relationship now. I think that the biggest change coming to um, the program and, and letting the Lord really clean my heart out, and all I can say is that He's replaced my dread with hope. Like, I used to dread tomorrow, I dread today. I didn't know how I would make it. I lived on survival mode. And all I could think about was what's going to get me through today. So my life today is um, super exciting. I have two sons um, that I have full custody of. Um, I get to raise them at Teen Challenge. They get to be, uh, you know, uh, surrounded by 
community and people that love them and want the best for them. Um, I'm the intake coordinator for our district, so I get to talk to other people that have you know, pain in their hearts, and then usually my job is just to get on the phone and convince them that there's hope. I get to fight for hope for their family and make sure that they get in the front door and just get that chance to see that God can do anything with their life because that's what he did for me. I've seen a lot of people come and go at Teen Challenge and I just feel like they always leave five minutes before the miracle. I, I really want to teach people and show them my life, what you know, the miracles that I waited for at Teen Challenge. It didn't come overnight. It came in a really long process. I think that, um, that God has really brought um, Connor and me and Axel to show that, that um, God can bring beauty from ashes. Um, that, that's all I had uh, to give to my kids was just to show them how to be faithful and stay when you don't want to stay and to keep going when you want to give up. When you feel hope in your heart, you just feel excited for today because you know change is possible and you know that what you have in front of you is not the end, it's just the beginning. We hope that you have been enjoying the stories tonight and hearing what a bold statement it takes to be in Teen Challenge and to be in recovery and to have lives change. And we hope that you really are enjoying what's happening this evening. The stories that you've heard actually demonstrate a problem that we have today. The addiction problem is getting more and more difficult, more problematic. But with the introduction of things like fentanyl, where there's an uncontrolled aspect to addiction, our mission with Teen Challenge becomes even more important. It's critical that we're able to touch those people that are struggling with their addiction to find help and restoration for these individuals' lives. We really feel like everything has been exponentially uh, increased over the last few years. And it's very sad to see the lives that are just destroyed by this addiction. But you know, you as our donors and our partners, you are really making a difference. There are people that are graduating the programs. They're getting connected again with their families. They're getting their children back because their lives are truly changed. And they're making a difference. They're making an impact because of the impact that you have made and the boldness that you have given to the Ministry of Teen Challenge because you sacrificially give and we want to just thank you because every life that you touch makes a bold difference. I can tell you with all confidence, we could not do the things that we do in Teen Challenge without you. Your help so important for us to accomplish our mission, and we appreciate you as our partners. Thank you for making an impact and a bold statement tonight by giving to Teen Challenge in Northwest Cal, Nevada. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. This night has been absolutely incredible and we could not do it without donors like you. We have three ways to give here. You can go on our event page, which is gonna be linked down below and click on the donate button. You could also text TC Bold to 41444 and you could also call to donate at 888-339-3193. Yes, and you can also, we forgot a fourth way. You can also mail a check. We still take checks. In fact, we love them. So that address of where you're gonna send it is right below us. And so if you, that's the way you prefer to give, go ahead and do that. Well, we are entering such an exciting time in the program because we have our special guest that is getting ready to join us, Gary Wilkerson, the son of David Wilkerson, if you know Cross from the Switchblade. He has been around Teen Challenge his entire life. He's also the president of World Challenge, which has a heart and a mission for pastors and health and pastoral ministry, which is such an amazing and needed yes. thing. Right? It's an honor to get to hear from him tonight. Yep. He's on the board of Global Teen Challenge, and he has a wife, three amazing kids, and a bunch of grandkids. And so we are so excited to introduce to you, Gary Wilkerson. I believe with all my heart in the work of Teen Challenge. And what God is doing there in the Northwest is spectacular, wonderful, and so needed in this hour. Northwest California, Nevada Teen Challenge, the work that you're doing is so necessary. 
I've been around Teen Challenge, if you know anything about my family or history. My father, Dave Wilson, started Teen Challenge almost 60 years ago now. And uh, so I, you know I believe in it. You know I believe it is an important work. But I want to say this to you. I don't think there's ever been a time in the past 60 years where it's more necessary that Teen Challenges are stirred with passion for the heart of Jesus and the heart of the lost because we are losing a whole generation, overdoses, uh, drugs coming into our country like never before. This is one of the most important hours in the life of this ministry. And I want to speak to you that are in that area. I know that you're doing it so well. I know the heart of your leaders. Uh, I know Randy and Dana are doing such an amazing job spreading the word of God across not only the Northwest, but across this nation and even around the world. For those of you that are in the program, thank God for you that he saved you and he washed you and he's now keeping you. For those of you that are on staff, thank God for your labor of love and your service. For those of you that support and pray over Teen Challenge, can I ask you to ask God for a double portion of how you pray and how you support, how you encourage this great work. Without you, this work is impossible. We need the people of God. I've been a pastor for many years and I, I, I had a church that, that taught, gave tithes and offerings every Sunday and that prayed for me as their pastor in, in a weekly prayer meeting. And, but oftentimes Teen Challenge is lacking that type of support. I wanna ask you to get involved, get involved now, get involved heartily, fully, thoroughly. And I want to encourage you to keep up the good work. Don't grow weary in well-doing. This is for such a time as this, God has raised you up and he's given you a vision and a plan. And I know that vision and plan. I've talked to Randy about it several times. And I want to encourage you to press into that. Never get discouraged. Never give up. This is God's work and you're doing it with God's heart. God bless you. I love you guys. Praying for you that God will keep you, multiply you, and increase you to see the kingdom work expand around the world. My experience in Teen Challenge has uh, changed my whole outlook on life. Um, I'm now confident in myself. I'm now confident in the person that I've become. Since being here, I've experienced a lot of good things in my life. I've had doors open for me that I never thought were going to happen. I've had um, relationships been fixed that I never thought were going to be fixed, like the relationship with my mom. I've grown as a person by having my anger problems get handled and by being more involved with the people that are around me. Since being a Teen Challenge, I have spiritually grown. I have regained my faith in God. My main fear before coming to Teen Challenge was giving up what I thought was life. I believe that God was actually gonna take from me, but actually He's given me life. I feel like I have become a, a lot more bold. I have grown spiritually. I've had time to uh, actually find out what my purpose is, to find out uh, what I want to do with my life, and it just changed a lot in my um, outlook on life. God is just rebuilding everything that was lost. Um, I have a purpose now, my will to live is back, and I'm just, I love my life, I love the people in my life, I love my family, our marriage is being restored. God has really just opened up some doors for us. Um, he's already opened a door for our daughter to be here with us in the program. Uh, we're able to both go through the program together and work out issues, learn how to grow through failure. Uh, I have a son, and um, I'm starting to get more contact with my son, so it's an amazing thing. Uh, my family is starting to see a change in me, uh, the way I walk, the way I talk. I have hopes for myself, I have goals that I want to set and do, and I don't feel how I felt when I first came in. I don't feel, I don't feel dark, I don't feel upset all the time, I don't feel like I'm where I was. I feel like I'm a completely changed person. The changes that I've seen in myself uh, and with my family is that I want to spend more time around my family and that I'm not as angry anymore. I don't know whether things get to me as easily as they did. I have more discipline in my life. I like to wake up in the morning now. And my children, I see more smiles from them. Um, they want to spend more time with me and they are growing. Since being in Teen Challenge, my life has changed dramatically. It's changed for the best. I see a bright future. I have people that believe in me uh, and they will help me all the way through. Today I feel a lot more confident. I have started to put the pieces, put my family back together. I'm 
I have my two youngest girls here with me and my two older kids are with my sister, but we have a great relationship. I've seen a new level of like love towards myself and towards my family. Before I went to Teen Challenge, I had no hope for in life. I had no hope for any sort of quality that would put me down the right path. I've really found uh, freedom in Jesus Christ. And uh, I know my purpose now. I, I know my, my position as being a father in the house. God is not just opening doors. He's just breaking them right off the hinges. Just stuff that we didn't ever imagine happening so easy and so quickly because we're here in God's will, just doing God's work. It's happening and God is just remaining faithful as we remain faithful to Him. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind because I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Your name is power Your name is healing Your name is love of Jesus over fear and all anxiety till every soul held captive by depression I speak Jesus your name is power your name is healing your name from the mountain Jesus in the street Jesus in the darkness over every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus Shout Jesus from the mountain Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Shout Jesus from the mountain, Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Your name is power, your name is healing, your name Shadow, 
such a special treat tonight, something we haven't really done in a past virtual gala yet. We have some of our TC kids singing a, a song for you guys. So check this out. this year's Teen Challenge Gala. I personally know what it means to see somebody find freedom from a life controlling situation. Both of my parents are recovering alcoholics. Most of my childhood, I saw things that I shouldn't have seen and experienced life in ways that no child should. I can remember one day as a fifth grader going into my best friend's house after school and her mom met us at the door in an apron with freshly baked cookies. And I remember thinking, this is what everybody else's families are like. That was just not my experience. And that pushed me to live in hiding. Now, I had done nothing wrong, but if everybody else's lives were these perfect pictures and mine felt crazy, I didn't want people to see that. I didn't want anybody to know the truth. Because when you live in a house with an addict, that sickness affects every person in it, not just the addict. One year it was Christmas and I was home alone and the rest of my family was celebrating. And I remember turning on the TV and there was a preacher preaching and they said, if you need a miracle, call now. So I picked up the phone and I called, it was busy, over and over and over again. Now, no line should be busy, it's that one. But I remember praying a prayer that night in the quiet of my family room. God, if you are real and you are good and you can help my parents, would you do a miracle? I can't tell you how or when or really what happened, but it was not long after that that they both got clean and sober. It's been over 28 years that they've found freedom and sobriety because God still does the miraculous. I prayed a full prayer and God did an incredible work. Today, my husband and I are pastors in the Central Valley of California. Both my parents aren't just still walking in freedom, but they love Jesus and they help others who need to find freedom just like they need it. And when you give to a teen challenge, you're making a way for somebody to find lifelong freedom. You're giving families a chance to change generations of sickness and addiction. Perhaps the investment you make tonight to Team Challenge is a seed that will produce a harvest of life's change and eternity's impact. 
simply because you're obedient. Our goal is to raise $300,000 tonight. I want you to know I'm a monthly financial partner of this ministry. I know the impact it has on lives and families and it is worth it. It's so personal to me. It's not just a Teen Challenge student that's impacted whose life has changed forever. There are future teachers and pastors and doctors and counselors sitting in the home of these men and women who need to find freedom. And your investment may be the key that opens the door for freedom for one of them. See, I needed a pastor on TV to tell me there was hope for my family. And now I get to share that same hope for somebody else. Because when you give, you share hope. And when you give, you make a way for somebody else to find freedom. Tonight, together, let's make a difference. Dear friends, thank you for joining us tonight. Teen Challenge. I've been in Teen Challenge for the last 40 years. I can describe Teen Challenge in one verse. Hope. Hope. And your theme is bold. Yes, hope brings boldness. The Bible talks about it. Love that labors, faith that works, 
that hope that inspire us to endure it let me pray heavenly father we come before you tonight yes lord we are here as truly your word says it because of your love that we are not consumed even during this covid time and your mercies are new every day every morning and you are a faithful god thank you lord you are the same god yesterday today and forever and thank you lord and that our cup will overflow and your goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our life thank you lord in jesus precious name we pray amen amen thank you friends god bless you all wow what an incredible night been so awesome such incredible testimonies and stories of hearing how teen challenge and how the lord has impacted and totally transformed these students lives absolutely and we got to hear from the tc choir and we also got to hear from the kids about oh. how jesus loves them so sweet so awesome and what about our incredible special guest gary wilkerson i mean i i don't know about you but i was so impacted just with this whole night and through his message to be bold in my faith be bold in my everyday life and we want to challenge you again here make a bold step in your life i don't know what the lord is speaking to you right now in your personal life in your personal walk with him but be bold and maybe that's to be a part of teen challenge maybe that's to get recovery maybe that's to reach out to somebody that you know needs to start recovery So be bold and don't be afraid knowing that the Lord is leading you in that. And thank you for everybody who has been bold and has volunteered, sponsored and donated. We could not do this without you and your help. So thank you so much for not only being in love with our mission but to also help and fuel it going forward. That's right. We really are so much better together. And we are at the end of this awesome night and It's it's sad, but it's exciting because we can't wait to see what God does in this next year and how he moves us forward here at Teen Challenge and also how he moves in your life in this next year. And we can't wait to see you at next year's gala and have a great night. Wow, what a powerful event. Did you guys like it? I loved it so much, Daniel. What was your favorite part? The choir, for sure. 100% it was the choir. I just lo- always love each and every week I am a part of the choir events and I it never gets old. Those testimonies, it never gets old listening to what God does in the life of a student in Teen Challenge. Amazing. Powerful, yeah. Amazing choir, amazing testimony, powerful night and guest speaker. Did you guys like the guest speaker, Gary? So powerful, yes. Yeah. So how do you follow the bold miracles that God is doing in the lives of these students? Daniel, let's talk about the theme bold. Yeah, this is so powerful being bold, being confident in the Lord, walking in the Lord. This is so powerful for us as a staff or our students just being bold for the Lord. Yeah, so bold for me, uh really it, it's it's really what our students uh show when they come into the ministry of Teen Challenge. Uh they're wanting more for their life. They're stepping into their recovery, they're owning their recovery. And even you, you just see it in the choir and the testimonies you just see the boldness of our students. Yes. You know, I feel like the theme for this gala bold is going to be a launching pad in the lives of our students. I mean, we've been talking about being bold and what boldness means to us and what boldness means to them and I just feel like we've given them this recipe for success to just walk in boldness and stand for righteousness. I'm really excited to to see the students really live out this theme of boldness. So now that we've come to the end of our evening, I just want to remind you that if you're looking for prayer and you're looking for support, we have a hotline people on the phones waiting for you to call. You can reach us at 888-339-3193. Thank you so much to our sponsors that have made this night possible and given our students an opportunity to walk in boldness and to walk into a new life and a new future. And if you are interested in in finding a center, go to go on go on over to teenchallenge.net to learn more about the services that we have to offer. Uh we have all of them itemized by by center, so look for one in your area. We talked in the pre-show about maybe volunteering. That's where you'll find the location closest to you. Uh if we go back on to the event page, 
uh, there's a few different things that you can that you can access there. We have for our auction reminder. There's a bid button that you can that you can press, and if you're interested in an item, hit that bid button, uh, get yourself on there, and maybe you'll win. Also, we have a donate button. Remember, we have a three hundred thousand dollar goal that we're trying to make. That is a bold goal. So with that donate button, go ahead and hit that. Make a donation to Teen Challenge, and then also head over to our social media page that you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. That is uh, Teen Challenge NWCV. Yes, awesome. And if you want to watch this uh, video again, if you want to watch this event again, you can go onto our event page. It's going to be there for a while. Maybe share it with somebody who was not able to watch it. Uh, this is a powerful. This is a powerful event. Powerful testimony. Powerful stories. Uh, powerful songs and so you can watch it on our event page and so this has been this has been amazing night. it's been a great great night but I want you also to know that it's not too late to get involved we have plenty of opportunities available volunteer positions we ask that you pray for us and of course give to the ministry that allows people to walk in boldness yeah. thank you so much for joining us thank you for all the sponsors yes thank you for all the sponsors for all the donors thank you for being with us tonight God bless you all